Let's make this introduction short. In this video, we will showcase to you the Russian military vehicles that have taken part in the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. This list only includes captured, damaged or destroyed vehicles in Ukrainian soil of which photo or videographic evidence is available. We will not include small arms, munitions, civilian vehicles, trailers and aircraft. Let's start off with main battle tanks. The T-64 is a Soviet second-generation main battle tank introduced in the early 1960s. T-64 BB tank is an upgraded version of the T-64, and as of March 15, three Russian T-64 BV tanks have been damaged and captured in Ukrainian soil. T-72 The T-72 was a development of the T-64. About 118 of T-72 tank variants have been captured, damaged, abandoned and destroyed by the Ukrainian army. T-80B The T-80 is based on the T-64 while incorporating features from the later T-72. Four variants of the T-80 took part in the invasion. The Ukrainian army destroyed over 50 T-80 tanks since the start of the war. The T-90A is a variant of the third-generation Russian main battle tank, and according to reports, the total number of T-90A tanks that have been destroyed so far is about 16. BMP The BMP is a Soviet amphibious tracked infantry fighting vehicle. Several variants of this IFV are taking part in the invasion, and over 100 BMPs have been destroyed and damaged during the war. BMD The BMD is a Soviet airborne amphibious tracked infantry fighting vehicle, which was introduced in 1969. The Ukrainian army claims that over 60 of the BMBD variants have been destroyed in their own soil. MTLB The MTLB is a Soviet multi purpose, fully amphibious auxiliary armored tracked vehicle introduced in 1950. Reports say that at least 13 of them were being destroyed and abandoned by Russia. Vityaz DT-30 The Vityaz DT-30 is a multi-purpose articulated tracked carrier designed to carry heavy loads in difficult terrain and is used by Russia. One of the vehicles was destroyed, and another abandoned in the Ukrainian soil. BTR-80 it was first deployed during the Soviet-Afghan war, and Ukrainian officials have claimed that over 65 of BTR-80 variants have been destroyed. 2S1 Vosdeka The 122mm self-propelled howitzer used by Russia Both Russia and Ukraine have more than 600 of these, and so far three Vosdeka have been captured, damaged and destroyed by the Ukrainian army. 2S-34 Costa The 2S-34 Costa is a modernized version of the 2S-1 Vosdeka. However, upgraded artillery system is a howitzer or mortar rather than a howitzer. 2K-22 Tunguska The Tunguska is a tracked self-propelled anti-aircraft weapon armed with a surface-to-air gun and missile system. It has been seen fairly frequently in the Ukrainian conflict, albeit mainly in Russian hands. 2S3 Akatsya Russia has over 2,000 of these, while Ukraine has only 500. Total of six Akatsya guns were captured, destroyed, and abandoned in Ukrainian soil. 2S9 Nana the 2S9 Nana is an extremely lightweight self-propelled and air-droppable 120mm gun mortar. It can be used as an amphibious vehicle that can be propelled through the water by two rear water jets. 9P149 Strum S The 9P149 is a tank destroyer of Soviet origin. It is fitted with a retractable launcher for 9M114 Kokon anti-tank guided missile, and about two of these tank destroyers have been gunned down by the Ukrainian forces. Kamaz AZ-63968 Typhoon This is a Russian multifunctional modular armored mine resistance ambush protective vehicle, and it has been claimed that four of these trucks were captured or destroyed. 
Tama's 539-49 Typhoon K is another mine-protected armored vehicle to meet the requirements of Russian armed forces and special units. Gas Tiger M The Tiger is a Russian 4x4 multi-purpose all-terrain infantry mobility vehicle heavily used by Russia. The Ukrainian army has claimed that 33 of these trucks were captured and destroyed. Eveco LMV Eveco Light Multi-Role Vehicle is another tactical infantry mobile vehicle seen during Russian invasion of Ukraine. Seven of these vehicles were destroyed by Ukrainian armed forces. UR-77 The UR-77 is a Soviet mine-clearing vehicle based on a variant of the 2S1 Vostika chassis. The vehicle is armed with a launcher and two mine-clearing line charges. GMZ-3 The GMZ-3 tracked mine-laying vehicle is designed to lay anti-tank mines in the progress of action in the soil with their concealment and on the surface of the soil without concealment. One GMZ-3 was claimed by the Ukraine to have been captured. The Brem-1 The Brem-1 vehicle is mainly used to recover damaged tanks and armored vehicles from the battlefield, and it tows damaged vehicles to the nearest shelter, fabrication point, maintenance center or repair depot. PTS-3 the PTS is a tracked amphibious transport vehicle, and it can transport vehicle which has a payload up to 10 tons, a better cross-country performance than any other known amphibious transport vehicle. BM-21 Grad The BM-21 Grad is a Soviet truck-mounted 122mm multiple rocket launcher. Reports from Ukraine has claimed that 24 of these trucks were destroyed. BM-27 Uragan The BM-27 Uragan is capable of launching 220mm rockets from 16 launch tubes. TOS-1 was designed to attack enemy fortified positions and lightly armored vehicles and transports in open terrain in particular. 9K-33 Asa the 9K-33 Asa is a highly mobile, low-altitude, short-range tactical surface-to-air missile system. 9K-35 Strela-10 The 9K-35 Strela-10 is a highly mobile, short-range surface-to-air missile system. It is visually aimed and utilizes optical or infrared guidance, and the system is primarily intended to engage low-altitude threats such as helicopters. Panzer S-1 The Panzer missile system is a self-propelled medium-range surface-to-air missile and anti-aircraft artillery systems. It was designed to provide point-air defense of military, industrial, and administrative installations against aircraft, helicopters, precision munitions, cruise missiles, and UAVs, and to provide additional protection to air defense units against enemy air attacks employing precision munitions, especially at low to extremely low altitudes. And that's it from the buzz for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more military videos. Thank you guys, guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.